I would like to propose a toast. To what? Myself. <laughs> okay. Finally got a job. OMG! <laughs> That's great! What is it? Where is it? Wait, can I get your discount? I start tomorrow as... Wait for it... Get ready... A donation collector for the Best Friends Pet Society. Yay! Animals. Not clothes. They called me for a reference, actually. Thanks for the heads up on that. Oh, uh, whoops. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, me too. Starting off your new job line. Good job, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was either you two or... Uh, you know, I got nothing. <laughs> oh. It's okay. I use my Meryl Street voice. I gave you glowing fake reviews. <laughs> you know that you didn't actually just change your voice. You just kind of like tightened up your lips and made them all weird. Whatever. Anyway, congrats, Felix. That's awesome. I feel really good about this. How long did um, Hitler give you? Hitler? Yeah. My landlord. Two weeks. You think that'll be enough time? I hope so. I mean, I'll work day and night if I have to. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just overheard you saying that you got a new job today. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> this is on the house. It's a fresh squeezed, perfectly sweetened, organic lemonade. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Well, but are you sure you're not going to get in trouble for that? You know, I wouldn't want you to lose your job the day I finally get one. Don't worry about it. I'm a risk taker. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> so, I think someone has a little crush on Felix. Shut up. Oh, I gotta go. It's date time. Bye. Date? Wait. Like a real date? With a boy or girl? Oh, Ferguson. You're growing up so fast. It's here. Please do not call me that. Well, your life sucks, but at least your real name isn't Ferguson. <laughs> oh, wait. It is. I hate you. <laughs> Ferguson, disgusting. I'm 98% sure my parents were on drugs when they named me that. Probably. Mm -hmm. Let's just stick to Ricky, please. Yeah. Bye, Fergie. <laughs> I hate you both. Talk. Now. Can we talk somewhere else and not in front of the entire world? The last time I saw you, you had just blown your brains out in the bathtub. They have a new job, you were able to connive your way to staying at your apartment, and you even have some cute girl flirting with you. What is this, the Twilight Zone? You know those stories that Granddad used to tell us? Mm -hmm. They're true. No, I always believed him. There's always that doubt. But now I know it's true. He always said, after it happened, there would be consequences and blessings. But so far, I'm just seeing the blessings. Yeah, so far. You have to be careful with this ancient Egyptian magic. This is exactly why Dad never wanted him telling you those stories in the first place so I wouldn't know the truth about our family, so I wouldn't know about my gift. Dad never told me the truth. He never cared enough. Whatever, Felix. Mom and Dad love you, and they miss you. You could at least call them from time to time. Why, so Dad could, you know, put me down? And so Mom could pretend everything's perfect? Yeah, I don't think so, no thanks. Well, maybe with all these blessings happening, you don't have to worry about that. I said blessings, not miracles. Everything was wrong, your life has fed into decline. Lost your way, but the bottom line is your luck has turned around now. You tried to give up, but you returned to here. What's the death that delivered you to face the fear? All your luck has returned somehow. All the shit that's gone on recently can leave. Even get the hell away from me Permanently Today is my day First day of work 
Walking from door to door Hipster hippies Even a whore I'm annoyed with these people They won't give a dime But I refuse to beg I'm already behind I need to get ahead So come on All you people Door shut in my face repeatedly I'm left without an ounce of my dignity Do they pity me? I'm sorry, I'm, I mean, ma'am, sir, sir, I mean, sir. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Did you know with just the right amount of love, an animal can be your best friend? Oh, wait, you're from the BFPS, right? I, I give every year. Just a second, Great. and Great. I have money for you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Let me put your name down here. So oh, wait, name. Um, sorry. <laughs> How much did I give you? I think I gave you too much, so. Oh. All right, I'm gonna take this, and here, you have that. Yeah, well, I've held up my end of the bargain. I've done my good deed for the day, so I, there's no more with that. Ah! The second day at work was so far a total loss. I was warned by my boss, you need contributions. If you do not meet your whole weekly goal, unfortunately, have to let you go Such unfair retributions The job requires such propriety But I'm being overtaken with anxiety Unquestionably My name is Felix, and I'm here on behalf of the Best Friends Pet Society. Just a small donation, you can help save a homeless dog or cat. Oh, cats! Come in, come in! Why didn't you say that earlier? Come, come! I wish you would have mentioned cats sooner. I would have brought you in. Sit down, sit down. You have to meet my pussy. Cats. Here she is. This is Grandma. Isn't she adorable? Oh, go ahead. Hold it. Go ahead. Hold it. I'll go get some milk. Go ahead. Here we go. Some nice fresh milk. Go ahead and feed her. She's fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's go. Closer. Dunk her face in. Okay. Yeah, she likes it like that. Look at that. Yeah. Look at her go. Yeah. Again. All the way in. Oh, yeah, yeah. She likes it like that. Mm. Oh, she's drooling. She melted so much. Oh, yeah. My boss is calling Feed me. Her. I'll uh, be right back. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I guess it's just you and me, Grandma. Come on. Drink some more milk. You bit me! I'll teach you to just drink the milk, you nasty little bitch! Third day on the job, they told me this is my last chance. In order to advance, I must meet, you must meet the condition. A hundred dollars by the end of the day. Seems impossible and probable to my dismay. I have lost all ambition. Defeated at the hands of misfortune My life is like the trigger of a loaded gun Hi! Hi! <laughs> I didn't know you lived here. I don't. I am the manager of the BFPS. 
I was sent here to make sure that you're staying on your route and reciting your script correctly, which you are not. Kidding. That's a joke. <laughs> Sometimes people with senses of humor use them to lighten the mood. How did you even know I worked for the BFPS? <laughs> Duh, I'm sorry. <sighs> you just took me by surprise, and this day has not been swell. But let me start over. All right. <laughs> Hello, I am Felix Mubarak, and I am here on behalf of the Best Friends Pet Society. Did you know that every year, thousands of dogs and cats die from exposure? That's... depressing. <laughs> oh, but you say it with such gusto! <laughs> yeah, sorry. I've just said that about a hundred times today. Maybe you should smile more. I don't think that would matter. You haven't seen my smile. Oh, come now. <laughs> I'm sure you've collected hundreds of donations by now. So. Yeah, you would think so. I've been walking around all day. But in actuality, I've collected... Nine dollars. Nine dollars. No one wants to donate. Apparently, people in this neighborhood hate animals or something. You know what? Here. These are all of my tips from work this week. I really wish I had more, but I would like to donate all of this. I don't know, maybe they'll take it easy on you if you show up with a little more than nine dollars. I don't even know what to say. That is incredibly kind of you. Uh, something's missing. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> don't you need my number? Oh, I would love your number, actually. For the form. Oh, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> there you go. You know, I want to thank you for that free drink the other night. You're welcome. Thank you so much for doing this. Oh, I'm sorry. On behalf of the BFPS, <laughs> I thank you, Beatrice, for your generosity. Call me B. And good luck with your boss. Thank you, B. <laughs> so, you're giving away free drinks at the cafe? Because if that's the case, can I have my six seventy five back that I gave you yesterday? If I remember correctly, I paid for your latte and muffin yesterday. Hmm. Touche. Why do you insist on pronouncing it that way? I don't believe in accent marks. How are we related? And I was just being nice to Felix. You know, congratulating him on his new job. But, of course, Olivia found out and pulled the cost from my tips. What? That gallivanting Jezebel. You want me to kick her skinny, entitled ass for you? Please don't get my hopes up, Maddie. <laughs> huh. What are sisters for? Apparently being a bodyguard. Speaking of that, who's this Felix guy? I don't see what he has to do with bodyguards. You like him? Um, yeah. It seems pretty nice. You must really like him if you gave him all your tip money when we can barely afford our cable bill. So help me if I can't watch my Golden Girl reruns. Girl, you know life don't... He needs this job more than we need cable. Oh, okay. Well. Oh, and by the way, huh? Blanche is a $2 hoe. What? Uh-uh, no, 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 that's, I got something for you. 